that computers are good at. There are other things where humans are better, but not for long. Blue AI is, is here. Is computers are learning how to do human oh, stuff, boobs, but better. They will be faster, smarter, way more rational. If this sounds scary, good, because it is. But for now, we may as well enjoy stuff it can do, like image upscaling. If you asked me a few years ago if you could make an image more detailed by making it bigger, I would laugh in your pathetic little face. Those CSI shows where they I was use just Enhanced say. to uncover details in images enhanced. are internet memes. Nobody took it seriously. Shows how much we know. Because AI upscaling is here, and it's terrifyingly good. I'm using Topaz Gigapixel AI to upscale the images in this video. I did actually buy it and everything, because this program has given me as much pleasure as shooting palm trees in crisis. Though they do have a free 30 day trial on their site. Mm. The way AI upscaling works is, well, nobody knows. It's magic. It learns what images should look like, then applies that knowledge to new stuff. If I upscale this tree, it almost becomes lots and lots of little trees joined together to give the impression that it's actually a more detailed tree. It's super effective. AI upscaling really loves foliage. You know something it doesn't like? Faces. Ugh. 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 I did wonder if this video would get demonetized for showing this, but then I remembered that AI algorithms thought that this is what a face looked like in the first place, so YouTube's filters will probably like it. AI isn't actually bad at faces, it's just that we're very good at faces. We know what they're meant to look like, and can detect when something's wrong with them. We're not so good with trees, so this looks perfectly acceptable to us. That's why there's a phenomenon known as Uncanny Valley which is when digital or drawn people look almost real, but not quite, which makes them look really creepy to us. I guess I'll get the obvious out of the way. You can't just keep upscaling forever. It can't get details that weren't captured in the original image. You can only fake it by adding small touches that it thinks should go there. My friend got bullied by a van driver who kept braking and swerving, seemingly to cause a crash. They came to me asking if I could somehow retrieve their number plate from this. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I'm not proud of myself, but I did try running it through this program in the hope of a miraculous enhance moment. Obviously it didn't work, but I had to try, didn't I? So let's get some examples of what works and what doesn't. I tried on a few old family photos. It would be great if I could somehow make them crisper and clearer, and for a few of them, I did. Here's one of my mum. Now I've blurred out her face because I don't really want thousands of internet people staring at my mum but also because we've established already that AI does terrifying things to faces. Actually, I will show her face, but horrendously upscale from a tiny image. Well, there. Here's before, and here's after. What a difference. Something I learned from the hours of fun I had messing around with this program is that, for best results, you have to shrink the image. Did you just look That's at right. your mother's To what? upscale, you must first downscale. Bear with me here, it obviously depends on the image. But for these old ones, the original scans aren't the clearest. They have a lot of blur, which the AI must look at and go, hmm, I better keep this blur. On the other hand, if there's greater contrast between the pixels, it enables the AI upscaling to splurt its creative juices all over the picture in the most delicious of ways. This makes me feel good for humanity that AI still needs a helping human hand for best results. Although impressive, it isn't magic. I was a bit late with this video because I spent the best part of a week messing about with it on all kinds of stuff, and I've gotten pretty good at knowing how good results will be before I even try it now. AI upscaling can do two things. It can make a horribly pixelated picture a lot better, or it can make an already decent picture more decent. Let's start with pixelated images. Here is the skyline of San Francisco. I got this original image, squished it down to just 384 by 216 pixels, and then I gave this to the AI upscaler and it produced this. Impressive, isn't it? It really adds clarity to the outlines of the buildings, as well as making what? sense of the mess of pixels on the walls and windows. But it's not perfect. You can see lots of phantom colours creeping into this one. The buildings almost look like they've been drawn in crayon. The pyramid building looks great in my opinion, having successfully made the sides smooth from what was about <laughs> six pixels of steps before. And the windows were each about a pixel large which I think makes this upscaling very impressive. Something interesting to note here is really the like... artifacts in the sky. The Can AI I see the original picture and instead of the larger part of the picture with the downsized one? The Salesforce tower has been strangely smoothened. If we look at the original image, then you can see that it should actually have very clear rows of windows. But from the low-res image, it's become a huge rounded dildo. 
As usual, I feel it's done a good job with the trees, especially when all it looks like before is a jungle of random. I can't even tell if it's sarcastic. Next right? up is Yosemite. Again, trees look more tree-y, and I think it's nicely textured the mountains as well. To think that from just a few pixels, it can conjure up a convincing rock texture. Imagine if it got it wrong and made it look like soup or something. As always, people's faces turn into nightmare fuel. I mean, what's going on with this cartoon girl here? Now the Grand Canyon. Looks like my face is trapped in a plastic bag, but the rest of the image is greatly improved. I'd say it looks closer to the original image than it does to the pixelated one. Uh... But you're free to disagree. Now to the tallest building in Devon. AI upscaling makes the clouds look very much like clouds. The grass like grass, the pavements also look a hell of a lot, lot better. But again, I think the trees are the best bit of the picture. If AI could have a favorite, you know it's to upscale branches. I feel like a broken record here, but it continues to make everything look a lot more like what they are. Let's just forget about the pixelated image here and compare the upscaled one with the original. I can't even tell which sky is the original and which is upscaled even though everything ends up looking quite different between them. For once, I don't think it does a very good job on the grass. It makes it look more like branches, when in the original you can clearly see their blades of grass. Stupid AI. Just, this just get a better camera. This Cornish coastline was unfairly crushed down to just 240 pixels wide, the lowest I went in this test. And when it's shrunk down this far, even the AI begins to struggle. It manages what looks like a 10-year-old phone photo, Blurry, lacking detail, horrible halos around everything. But I think you can agree it uh, still looks a lot phone better than this. Phone now on to our graveyard shot, like which I that. didn't pixelate as much as with the previous pictures. With this extra detail, the AI has a field day, lavishing the gravestones with fake writing, nice bumpy stone textures, the trees look great, and the only thing that's off a bit is the grass. The AI got a little bit too excited about this and made them all look like dancing snakes without anywhere near as many strands as in the original. Okay, I don't know what the but fuck this guy's point is. Whole... It, it looks fucking terrible. Your upscaling looks fucking shit and the word about no fucking AI. What? Holy Christ.